Hello? Get on, get on. I'm not gonna be on here for too long, probably like 10, 15 minutes. I wanted to pick this apart. I wanted to pick this apart. When the devil prophesies to you, amen. As soon as you get on, just share this. Invite your followers, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, share it on Periscope. Swipe up if you have an Android. Swipe to the right if you are on an iOS device and invite your followers. When the devil prophesies, got to understand that the devil, he's a perverter of everything that God does. He perverts everything that God does. And that's one of the ways that he confuses the world and even some of the elect, deceiving them, deceiving them. Amen. I wanted to speak about satanic prophecies. When people are coming into your life speaking all these type of words, when you have friends around you talking about all these type of things and you're not really sure... Are they speaking from a place of purity? Are they prophesying from a place of God? You know, I want to I want to break down a prophecy that someone sent me, an email someone sent me, and I want to tell you why what she said, her friend said, was completely devilish. Amen. Completely devilish. Glory to God. It is important as a believer that you're spiritual enough to understand, to receive prophetic words, and to judge them. You judge them according to strict, according to scripture. Stop being a. So many of you are prophecy chasers. You're chasing around every prophetic word. You're chasing around everybody who calls himself a prophet, and you don't know whether the word they're giving you is godly or not. So I want to break this down to you. This is what she said. Listen, I'm not gonna say her name, but I, I don't know if she's gonna be on. She, she's usually on here, but she says today I spoke with a friend. Listen. And my friend said that my, that my gift is not of God because I received it too late in life. Number one, her friend said that her gift is not from God because she received it too late in life. When we weigh that according to scripture, there is absolutely no place in the Bible that says that God does not give gifts to older people. What happens is a lot of times the gifts are already inside of you, but you don't have anyone to help you activate it to stir it up and to draw it out so when someone comes to you and starts speaking and starts saying that the gifts inside of you are not from god because you received them too late in life they're usually speaking out of a place of jealousy or they're grossly misinformed and what they want to do they want to sow fear and confusion oh that gift is from the devil and that's actually blasphemy of the holy spirit because the bible says that god has not given you the spirit of fear but of love and of power and of a sound mind so when someone speaks into your life a prophetic word or even in counsel and it brings fear and confusion you can be sure that that word is not inspired by the holy spirit God is not the author of confusion. This confuse it. How can someone say that the gift of God in you is not from God? Because you're, oh, even the Bible says, it shall come to pass in the last days, I'll pour my spirit upon our flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men, your young men shall dream dreams, and your old men shall see visions. Or what is the other way around? Correct me if I'm wrong, but it has old men in there. Amen. So God has nothing wrong with old men, he has nothing against you. If you feel you, if you feel as if you're a bit old, if you feel as if you're a bit old, God has absolutely nothing against you. Amen. You're never too old to walk in your gifts and your destiny. A lot of you have things inside of you that aren't stirred up. A lot of you have have gifts. You have. You have gifts that have been running in your bloodline, on um, blessings and generational blessings, but no one is there to really pray for you and bring it out to the surface or you haven't re received enough faith to do so. So when someone comes and says something like this in order to plant fear and confusion, you must be careful. A lot of times these people are, are speaking from a contrary spirit. It's a satanic prophecy in order to stop you from going forth in your gifts and your destiny. Number two, I'm going to skip. Now, she said this, um, 
Two years ago, I received the prophecy, and I received the prophecy two years ago that someone in my church was going to give me a lot of money because they will believe in my work so I can start my business. So today, my friend told me that if I choose that path, listen, her friend told her that if she chose that path and she started her business, this was going to happen. My friend told me if I chose that path, I will be miserable, number one. No friends, no family, no life. And it will take my family a long time to receive and understand my gift, so I'll be isolated from everyone. So she's asking me now, should I take that path or not? Can you imagine this? Someone prophesied to her that somebody's going to sow a seed into her life in order to help her business, and her friend is telling her that if she goes forth in that business, she's going to be miserable. That's, I told her, that's a curse. So you must be spiritual enough to know when people are speaking curses into your life. And when you hear that type of thing, the same friend, and when you hear that type of thing, you say, I counsel that and I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. You got to say it out loud. You can't be afraid. You say, I counsel that word because God is not the author. He said he will bless the work of my hands. Amen. He will bless the works of my hands. He's given us the power to gain wealth. Glory to God. So when someone begins to speak those things into your life, you know that, that they're not speaking from a right spirit. It's usually a witchcraft spirit, a spirit of divination. That's a, the same way that God has plans for you is the same way that the devil has plans for you as well. And a lot of times when the devil speaks, he won't speak to you, but he'll speak through other people who you're close to. And by the time you go around receiving advice from everyone, which you shouldn't to begin with, you go around, you know, sometimes people try to advise me. I'm like, I didn't ask you for advice. Amen. I didn't ask you. I got, I got the Bible. I got the Holy Ghost. I got people who I'm under. Glory to God. I don't need your advice. Have you have you started a business? You're telling me that I'm going to be miserable in business. Have you started a business? You're telling her that her gifts are not from God because she's old. Where are your gifts at? Where's your fruit? Amen. It's not of God. Must be careful. And how do you deal with these things? Do not let them sink in. Because if you keep them for a while, if you begin to play those words back in your mind, it gets rooted inside of you. And it causes fear and doubt and unbelief. And it can hinder the prophetic word. It could cancel it. Why? Because you received a curse. That's a curse. That's not a blessing. That's not a prophetic word. Whoever said that is, they're not speaking from a place of purity. So this is what happens when the devil prophesies. And, and listen, and if she were to continue to think about that word and eventually go into business, all that stuff would have happened to her. But I've told her, and if you're on it, I know she may watch the video. If you're on it and you're receiving words like this, cancel it. Say, in the name of Jesus, I break that curse that you're trying to speak over me. That's not the spirit of God speaking to you. I break that curse. Bible says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. Glory to God. God has given us gifts for the edification of the body. Amen. So this is what happens when the devil prophesies. When the devil uses people around, and this other friend, she could be a church going, she's probably a church going Christian. She thinks she's a church going Christian. But she doesn't know where she's speaking from. It's probably out of place of jealousy. And witchcraft. Glory to God. So I'm getting ready to get off. So I pray for you guys that if anyone has spoken any words in your life contrary to the will and the plan of God, let those words be completely broken in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. We overrule, we cancel, and we annul every satanic prophetic word that's been spoken over you, every curse that's lingering in the realm of the Spirit. I said, let it be lifted off of you right this second in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Zuki iliakando le pasuku fa antapakapa. For the word of God says that we shall that every tongue risen against us in judgment, we condemn. We stand this moment and we condemn every tongue that's risen against us through false prophecy. Every tongue that is risen against us, that is risen against us, that is risen against us. 
through advice, through false counsel. Let it be broken. And I pray for a release of discernment and spiritual boldness that when people would speak things contrary to the will of God in life, we would stand and cancel it according to the from the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed, guys. I, don't, I may not be on tonight. I may be on tonight. I'll let you guys know. Um, if, if you were late on the Periscope, watch the replay. It's very important. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. You'll be blessed. I'll speak to you guys later today. Remember, our three-day fast is beginning tomorrow. We're Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Go to my website. Print out the outline. Print out the outline and prepare yourself. See you soon.